Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Brock. I'm joined here by Alex and Kavika. Wave, wave, Kavika, come on. <laughs> and uh, we make up the data dudes. Uh, we have one more, Brian, who's not here with us today. Uh, Boots is actually out in Vegas right now, but he assured me that he's doing strictly <laughs> field research. So, <laughs> Data. Um, all of us are graduates from Dev League, which is Hawaii's <laughs> first and best uh, development boot camp. You're welcome, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to talk about the problem that we decided to try and solve um, for this hackathon, which is the homelessness <coughs> issue. So obviously you see um, homeless people out on the streets and that presents an issue in itself. But one thing a lot of people don't take into consideration are the hidden problems, one of which is the burden on the taxpayer. Uh, between hospital visits, um, imprisonment, and state benefits that are given to those individuals, um, there's a huge financial drain on the state economy. For example, Queens spent almost 90 million in 2015 alone just on servicing homeless people and caring for them. So some of the pain points with the current process, uh, there's real no ability to analyze this data that they take in. They fill out vice with app forms, but it's usually collected manually. There is a database in place, but you can't query the data or make any sense of it. So our solution uh, to this problem would be to build a central database and API server that allows us to store and query this data that people collect out in the field, uh, a native Android application for collecting the assessments, reports, and other data, either in office or out in the field. And then finally, an analytics dashboard that allows us to organize and display this data so that we can make sense of it. <coughs> so we're going to move over to our demonstration now of our live app. Do, do, do. <laughs> So we're going to work side by side to have the native application, which is plugged into the computer off of our Android phone. And then we'll have the dashboard over to the right as well. So you can see both in action at the same time. Looks good on the screen, I promise. He's just trying to drag it into view. <laughs> Don't worry, we paused it. Okay. Technical difficulty. Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, the PowerPoint won't go down. It's on his screen. We're just trying to get the show up on the projection. Showing up on the Oh, the display isn't. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to drive it off the Android phone. Yeah. Okay. There's too many, too many windows being open in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's one part. Can you do that and then bring the yeah, dashboard in after you click through it? Okay, so we're just going to walk through this. Yeah. All right, um, so we're just going to walk through them one at a time then since we can't get both on the screen right now. Uh, so anyway, this is, well, at least part of the mobile app. You can see it's kind of cut off. Uh, this is the different types of forms that you can walk through. You can either do a point-in-time form. That's for collecting personal information. Uh, we use Vicepedat, which is a risk assessment form that um, a couple of different organizations use for collecting data on the homeless. And then if you happen to meet an individual who just flat out refuses um, to talk to you at all, <laughs> you can at least document the location and the time in which you saw them. So that way it's in the database as well that way. 
Um, so we're just kind of filling out some form data here so that that way after we submit it, you're able to see it update live um, on the dashboard end. So as you can see here, Alex is gonna type in a few more fields. I believe he's filling out, there you go. It also gives you your total risk score um, as well at the end of it. So after you've collected that data, you can see the total score that that individual received, submit it to the database, and at that point, it'll be sent over to the dashboard for an admin or someone who works for one of the stakeholders to check out. So this is our dashboard now. Um, you can sign in from here, log in. And now this will take you for the first screen, uh, which is our population board. This is a brief overview of every homeless person in the state. It loads initially the first few people. Um, it has kind of an infinite scroll feature, so that way it just doesn't dump thousands of them on the page at once. And then you can check out people. Uh, as you can see now, that was the one that he just added from the native application. It shows up after he searched for it and it narrowed down the results. It gives you his risk score over here and a little layer, and then you can pop on over um, to the risk score and number of homeless graph. So this gives you the total number of homeless by state um, organized into districts. So this would be for Oahu, for Maui, or for Hawaii. And then you can look finally at the risk score percentage graph. Um, this is going to graph the average risk score of each district across a line graph here. And then that's also mapped um, against the total number of homeless, which is that area chart behind it. So I put a high risk line here. This is generated based on the average risk score, and it allows you to see which dis districts might be problem areas. If they're above that line, then it's a place that you might want to take into consideration or a place that you might want to focus more on. Okay, you can log out. Got 10 seconds. And uh, finally, I just want to thank everybody um, for allowing us this opportunity. Super stoked that we were able to get together and do all of this. It's, it's really cool to see people coming together and to try to solve real world problems with practical solutions here in Hawaii. Thank you.